I chose to talk about the theory of Alfred Wegener, which is also known as the continental drift. This theory suggests that all continents once formed and belonged to one single continent named Pangaea, which means in Greek, entire land or all earth. He collected four kinds of proof, so his words will be taken seriously. The first proof is the apparent shape of the continents, as we sometimes notice that some continents look like they belong together as if they were pieces of a puzzle, such as the eastern coast of South America and the western coast of Africa. The second piece of evidence is the distribution and correlation of fossils and plants. Fossils that belong to some extinct creatures, such as the Mesosaurs, have been found in the very southern tip of South America and the very southern tip of Africa. Now, there are only two possibilities. The first possibility is that the Mesosaurs flew or swam all the way from one continent to another, which is unlikely, if not impossible since the Mesosaurus cannot swim in salt water and definitely cannot fly. The second possibility is that the two continents weren't always separated by the southern Atlantic Ocean and were once connected. The third clue is the distribution of geologic structures and elements. Glacial sediments have been found in all of the continents in a very consistent pattern. The fourth piece of evidence is the paleoclimate data, which is connected to the distribution of bituminous coal. Since coal has been found in cold regions and areas, and glacial evidence has been found in warm regions. All these pieces of evidence demonstrate the credibility of this theory. Therefore, you must be wondering, what kind of force got Pangea to split apart? The answer is plate tectonics, which makes it interesting because in the future it is more likely that new continents will exist.